Coach Mike, man, highlight me about this defense, brother. The defense got to just improve on what they did last week. Um, there's not really much you should change on defense besides uh, a QB spy. I think we got to run QB spy. We got to run man QB spy. Mm -hmm. um, I don't. I just don't like zone. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep saying it. I just don't like zone. I don't like catching. I like going <laughs> forward. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just me. So, um, but yeah, we got a QB spy. I don't know if Rodrigo going to be, you know, if he's going to be available. If not, um, I think Chris Board should be the QB spy. I don't think Barnes should be the QB spy because he's not fast enough. I don't think that Anzalone should be uh, the spy because he don't hit hard enough. He's not an attacker. <laughs> uh, I mean, this is what it is. So I think Chris Board would be online to be – that QB spy if um if Rodrigo isn't healthy, but um we gotta get our we gotta definitely you know shut down the run um but we gotta get those defensive ends. We had a good plethora last week. Uh, we had about five rotation on the D ends, man, and we gotta keep that going because we gotta get to Justin Fields. We can't let him escape out the pockets. So maybe we play four three contain. You know what I'm saying? Uh. You don't have those ends kind of going off field as much. You kind of have those ends sitting uh, and waiting to funnel everything back inside, which a lot of D ends do that, but a lot of D ends also scream up field. You don't really want to scream up field and then Justin Fields slip by you. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, man, just that QB spy and, and contain. And uh, we, you know, we should do good, man. What y'all got? All right, man. For me, uh, you said it. Set the edge to keep Fields in the pocket. Make Fields throw the ball. He has a horrible completion rating. His quarterback rating is trash. So he <laughs> so um and we play good uh, and we do we did it last game. I wanted to, to uh give you a shout out, Coach Mike, because you said play man. We played man and then we played zone over the top with you know with Kirby Joseph. Man, we, that was a great uh scheme, and we mm -hmm. followed that to a T last week. I agree with you. Uh, do what we did last week. You got to play stop run defense against the number one rushing team. You're going to have to do that. We played pretty good run defense last week. Um, and the key is keeping Justin Fields at bay. He is the top rusher on that team. The number one rusher on the, on the, on the bears is Justin Fields with 91 carries for 602 yards and four wow. touchdowns. Wow. So yeah, we have to keep, keep him in check. So that's how we that's how we that's our recipe for success on defense is that. And one last thing for our linebackers, man, you're gonna have to be gap disciplined for this game, uh, be it Justin Fields or Montgomery out of the backfield. Gonna have to be uh, gap disciplined because these guys will run past you in the run game if you just blink your eye, you turn your head the wrong way, man, or take the wrong angle, and they'll be out the gate. So that's my keys, man. What you got, LL? Yeah, um, I won't have very much to add. You guys nailed it all. But well, how about this? I, I'm not going to add anything because you guys did a great job. But I asked this question. And I was talking with somebody yesterday and because I said, I hope that we'll use a spy. And they were trying to downplay the spy. Like, what? Well, it'll take away from the defense that does X, Y, Z. I want to ask more I, both of you guys. I want to ask Coach Mike especially because he's actually coaching it up out there. Is the spy, a QB spy, a negative thing? And I personally don't believe that it is. I don't see how it could take away from the defense, especially if you know how to set your defense up to where, you know, that man is accounted for. But how do you feel about that? I'll let Coach Jones go for it. You're the defense yeah. coach. Um, you, you need a QB spy. You need somebody to spy the QB when you got a QB who likes to run. Um, or else what they're going to do is they're going to just use receivers to run those guys off. And then the QB going to have, you know, quick reads. If they're not open, he going, you mm -hmm. know, and, and it's going to take them the back end more time to get to the ball um, than usual. So, yeah, you got to have a QB spot. You got to, or you said your defense up for failure. Yeah. Even Dan Campbell yesterday said that. He said in his press yesterday, we, that's one of the really? things that you're looking at using, the QB spy. I know Calvin Shepard, he's not a proponent of that, but Coach, but if, MCDC said, we're going to spy him. <laughs> so that's, you know, that's what he said. Would you, at would you look at that? Look at here, look at here. So uh, <laughs> definitely is that's the plan, man. Hey, to check out the rest of this segment and the rest of the defensive preview, make sure you tune in to Detroit Lions and the Proud Lunchtime Detroit Lions talk, man, and check it out, man. 
we're going to go through and break down the rest of our game preview. So double back to our YouTube channel and check out the rest of the show.